Welcome back to another episode of Space This Week. Here's a question for you. Could we be witnessing the most intense race in space exploration yet? With SpaceX pushing the limits of Starship, China accelerating its orbital ambitions, and groundbreaking missions happening across the board, it's hard not to feel like we're living in a new golden age of space. Let's dive into the action-packed highlights from this past week, and trust me, there's a lot to unpack. SpaceX is making strides with Starship Flight 7 preparations. Last week, Booster 14 successfully completed its static fire test, marking another crucial milestone. If all goes as planned, this booster will lift Starship into orbit on January 11th, less than four weeks away. Can you believe it? But what's more fascinating is what happened after the static fire. The booster was lifted not just for a routine transfer, but all the way to the top of the orbital launch tower simulating the height it would reach during an actual tower catch. After this dramatic display, it was lowered, mounted on a transporter, and rolled back to the production area for its final pre-flight checks. Let's talk about Ship 33, the upper stage for Flight 7. This isn't just any starship, it's the first Block 2 variant, a significant upgrade in SpaceX's lineup. Last week, Ship 33 was placed on a static fire stand in Mega Bay 2, marking the start of its test campaign. It underwent spin prime testing, a procedure where the engines are spun up without ignition, and while it's not as visually exciting as a static fire, it's an essential step. On Sunday, the real spectacle arrived, a static fire test showing that Ship 33 is nearly ready for launch. With both the booster and upper stage now cleared for stacking, the countdown to Flight 7 is officially on. Meanwhile, Starbase itself has been buzzing with activity. New liquid methane and vertical tanks were installed at the orbital launch site supporting the infrastructure needed for these massive launches. The iconic chopsticks, used for catching boosters, underwent rigorous tests, including opening, closing, and alignment drills. These tests are critical, as a successful tower catch could redefine how rockets are recovered and reused in the future. But it's not just Starship stealing the spotlight. Falcon 9, SpaceX's workhorse, launched another 22 Starlink satellites from Vandenberg Space Force Base last Friday. This marked the company's 125th mission of the year, an insane number, even by SpaceX's standards. The booster, on its ninth flight, nailed a perfect landing on the Of Course I Still Love You drone ship. Fun fact, this was SpaceX's 100th drone ship landing of 2024, cementing their dominance in the reusable rocket arena. Let's shift gears to China, where space developments are also heating up. On Thursday, a Long March 2D rocket launched five payloads for the high-speed laser Diamond Constellation experimental system. While details are scarce, this mission likely involves testing inter-satellite laser communication, a cutting-edge technology that could revolutionize data transfer in space. And just today, a Long March 5B rocket deployed 54 satellites for China's state-owned constellation project. This mega constellation, set to include 13,000 satellites, could become a major competitor to Starlink. Speaking of enigmatic launches, Rocket Lab quietly conducted a mysterious hypersonic test mission last Saturday. Using its Electron rocket, the company launched a classified payload for the U.S. military under the HAST program. While Rocket Lab hasn't disclosed much, this mission underscores the growing role of private companies in defense and hypersonic technology development. Now for something completely different. The first ever wooden satellite was deployed from the Japanese experiment module on the ISS. Yes, you heard that right. A wooden satellite. This quirky project called Lignosat aims to test how wood behaves in space's harsh environment. If successful, it could pave the way for eco-friendly spacecraft materials in the future. On NASA's side, preparations for the Artemis II mission continue to ramp up. 
Last Wednesday, the massive SLS core stage was transported and lowered into High Bay 2 at Kennedy Space Center, where it will be stacked with solid rocket boosters. These boosters are already being assembled, bringing us closer to the first crewed lunar mission of the Artemis program. Meanwhile, the Orion capsule, which will carry astronauts around the moon, returned to its final assembly and test cell for integration. Before we move on, here's a quick heads up. There might not be an episode next week or the week after. It's the holiday season, and I'll be spending time with family. But don't worry, Kerbal Space Program content will still drop, as those videos can be pre-recorded. Thanks for understanding, and now let's keep going. Beyond the major players, smaller but equally intriguing missions are also making waves. For instance, Europe's space community is working on next-gen satellite tech, while Japan and India continue advancing their lunar and planetary exploration programs. These developments remind us that space isn't just a race between a few superpowers, it's a global effort. As we wrap up, it's incredible to reflect on how much progress has been made in just one week. The sheer pace of innovation in space exploration is nothing short of breathtaking. SpaceX continues to redefine what's possible with Starship, pushing the boundaries of reusable rocket technology, and setting the stage for humanity's future on Mars. The anticipation surrounding the next Starship launch is electric. Will we see another successful tower catch? Or perhaps something entirely new as SpaceX refines its techniques. This isn't just about rockets, it's about a vision for a future where humanity expands beyond Earth. On the other side of the globe, China is making equally impressive strides. Their ambitious satellite launches are laying the groundwork for a vast mega-constellation that could rival SpaceX's Starlink. The High Speed Laser Diamond Constellation Project, though still shrouded in mystery, hints at advanced inter-satellite communication using cutting-edge laser technology. Imagine a network of satellites seamlessly sharing data at unprecedented speeds. This could revolutionize global connectivity, scientific research, and even space-based surveillance. Such projects underline the competitive and collaborative nature of this new space age. Your enthusiasm and curiosity fuel the exploration of these fascinating topics. Until next time, keep looking up, stay curious, and remember we're all explorers in this great cosmic adventure. It's truly an extraordinary time to be alive and passionate about space. Don't forget to hit that like button, smash subscribe for more jaw-dropping space updates, and join us as we embark on a cosmic journey like never before.